Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip and I got a pickup game um for you today. We're watching Yeah, that's Banny. Um which is crazy. You're watching his rollout onto mid for Koth Viaduct Pro RC3. Um, hopefully those, those numbers and mean something to somebody somewhere. But um, Banny actually not doing a ton right there, and actually everybody's still alive. So, um, well, anyway. Um, but yes, this is a pickup game, so you'll probably recognize some of these names. And actually, in fact, it's almost like an all star game because some of these guys are excellent. Played with some of them. Some of them just know by reputation, like Banny. If I ever played with Banny, um, probably cry from him dominating me. Anyway, oh, um, Frostfire going down just as he had crits right there, so not good. Here comes a crits from Banny, though. Um, Pyro doing a good job of air blasting them away, but he eventually does go down. Crits going, see if he can't get anything else, getting 2, 3k in there, I believe. So not a huge, um, not a huge streak right there, but enough to help his team push forward onto mid and cap it. This is, of course, King of the Hill regular rules. We're playing first to four. So it is you work the timer down from three minutes, and the first team to win will win that round. Anyway, um, Sess getting in here behind the um, enemy lines, I believe. I was confused about where he was just um, there. But anyway, um, Sess, a, someone we have seen before on Kip TV, but I believe he's played Engineer before. He was an Engineer All-Star, I think, for UGC. Um, are seeing some class mix-up, like we see Hay on Engineer. Um, usually he plays Spy. So, interesting little mix-up right there. We're gonna watch Frostfire, see if he can't pop this crit. He does pop it on his heavy. Um, doing some nice work there as Penguin Ninja taking down two, getting 2k right there. See if he can't get anything more. But Frostfire is running, um, does not want to be involved in this anymore, and does get back alive. So, a nice job right there, but blue, I mean red was not able to cap right there. So, got him. Ha, huh, that's cute. <laughs> got him um, team. Anyway, um, but Red actually does come back, able to cap. Now they're pushing forward, being super aggressive right here, which is what you want to do after you cap a point in King of the Hill. You want to shut off those um, ways of entrance, those choke points for, from the other team. Um, here we see a Pudding Cup from Team Bonus. Um, we have a s I'm not sure if we've seen them before on Kip TV, but I'm familiar with the bonus team because they are one of the UGC's at best. Highlander teams, so hopefully you are familiar with them too. Mike exclamation point, I don't know this guy, but he just took down Banny, so that is going on his tombstone if he dies tomorrow, which I hope he doesn't, but just saying, Mike exclamation point, took down Banny. Anyway, <laughs> Blue is coming back with um, pressure onto mid, taking down Frostfire, the medic, and Cess getting some crazy, um, Crazy uh, stickies in there and taking down a lot of blue. Only three up for blue. They just got those respawns and not able to take mid there. So re mid is still in possession of red. So we'll see if they can't build up a defense to prevent blue from coming back anymore. We also have a snake kryptonite from Team Bonus. I'm not as familiar with him, mostly because he puts his R's backwards. Um, <laughs> no, it's, I'm sure he's a very good player as well. Gotta be to be on bonus. We're gonna watch. Oh, and here we have another bonus player. So this is basically the bonus team versus Got Team. Um, but Zero Skill going down. Let's see Valen from um, the Syndicate, another great Highlander UGC team, getting Banny with a headshot, just barely poking out. That was incredible aim right there. Um, and Skill, too bad he does go down. Red actually looking pretty good with holding mid right now. Oh, but Paradox coming in here, taking down the heavy. Not sure if he had. Definitely had some help on that, but a great kill nonetheless. Frostfire does have this uh, crits, so hooking up with his demo, Cess, popping it immediately because there are people on the point, taking it down Paradox, taking down Cousin. Oh, but backstab. No, Frostfire goes down to a uh, headshot from Zero Skill, so Zero Skill showing he has at least one skill. <laughs> or less than anyway um, but blue is not able to take advantage of that and has not pushing forward so we waiting only 30 seconds left so blue has to be aggressive here and take it back um, looks like it's just the pyro right now with his shotgun here comes flying in out of nowhere is the soldier um, who is the soldier we will find him in a minute um, 
Adidas, sponsored by, I, I hope he's a sponsored by Adidas, otherwise this is just free publicity, and um, Adidas going down to Sess, some nice stickies in there, not even a crits or anything, just Sess has some great um, sticky aim, or sticky luck, <laughs> sometimes it is, and able to take down most of Blue's little camp right there, oh, and we have a, a caber kill, taking down both demos. So red, only 10 seconds left, looking pretty good. Frostfire has his crits on the point, probably will pop it in a second, he does. Um, soldier in, that's Kozen trying to take him down. Eventually the mini sentry takes him down, but he's not able to do much, and there we go. Got him, gets to the first round. So uh, real quick, teams, we did see Adidas on uh, Medic. Arthur is heavy, Koz Kozen is soldier, zero skill is sniping, pudding cup is pyro, bandy is demo. Evan is Spy, Crow is Engineer, and Paradox is Scout for the blue team. Again, this is just a pickup game. Well, not just, because even pickup games can be super fun, super exciting, and that's what I was promised this game was. So, um, so it's a pickup game for, and also a plug for, um, for pickup NA, NAHL. The North American Highlander pickup games. Anyway, River God, Tuffle Snug getting a nice kill there on Adidas, um, taking him down. So I will put that link for the pickup game sites um, if you are so interested and so inclined to play. Um, remember, they are for pretty advanced players, um, such as this game, which is for some of the best Highlander players and then some of the best in the country, like Banny, if that is the real Banny. I have yet to have confirmation of that. Um, so if anybody who played on this knows if that was a real banny. Here comes the crits and popped on the heavy. Not able to take down anybody. And actually, Frostfire was way out of position right there and taken down by a rocket from Kozen. So probably not the best idea to push up that far. But hindsight is pretty awesome. Uh, Dita's going down too, though. So Frostfire is not going to have... Um, to worry about that much of a uber disadvantage. Also, he is rocking the Vitasaw. So he has that preserved... Um, percentage of crits. Uh, Snake Kryptonite getting a nice bomb in there on Banny. Able to take him down, um, but then goes down himself to Arthur, the anti-aircraft <laughs> heavy, which all heavies are. Anyway, um, Red looking very good right here, although they uh, haven't really set up too much of a defense. Well, they have this uh, the uh, dispenser right here, which is a very common place for the dispenser, of course, in um, in Viaduct, King of the Hill. Oh! Frostfire going down to Evan um, from the revolver, so not great um, protection right there for the medic. And here comes Banny taking down the dispenser and also the pyro. Um, looks like Blue is going to be able to cap it for the first time this round, and they have three minutes to the uh, red team's one minute and a half. So we'll see if they can work it down. Of course, it is possible. It's just very challenging. Um, but looking not too bad as they are pushed forward quite a bit. Adidas is a little skeptical and getting way out of position right there. He poked his head where it should not have been poked. Um, hopefully his heavy will have a sandwich, and yes. I feel like if the heavy is wearing the plaid, he should, like, throw down a flapjack or pancakes or something. It just reminds me of a lumberjack so much. Or hipster. A really fat hipster. Fat Russian hipster. <laughs> anyway, Adidas does have this crits. Um, probably gonna pop it in Banny if he knows what's good for him. We'll see if he decides to... Um, uh, kind of... No, yes. Okay, yes, they are pushing forward. Gonna be popping it soon. Spotted out the heavy. Adidas really wants to take him in, but um, Ben is just not looking that aggressive right here. We'll see, when they decide to pop it, oh, the soldier goes down, so he's not able to save him. Adidas just, I don't know about this, he's holding on to this Chris for way too long right now. Um, that always scares me as a medic, and um, <laughs> just as a caster watching medics hold on to it, I just get so scared for them. So we'll see if Adidas decides to pop it soon. They're probably waiting for a red push, and red is just not pushing right now. Um, here we go, finally popped on Banny. Um, not getting anything down though. Few stickies, but not no Ks yet. Um, and actually, there we go, no Ks at all. So interesting um, use of the Chris right there. Interesting, I mean, probably not the best, but... Um, 
So, but it does preserve the point. There is one crit sticky on the point right now, so um, we'll see if Banny decides to hold on to that for a bit and um, wait to detonate. I always want to say denote. We're gonna watch Pudding Cup take down the sniper, and oh, he gets denied the K, but um, does does get an assist there. Now it's gonna be some Pyro and Pyro action. It goes down to um, Hey, the engineer. Hey. Um, love saying that name. I doubt I'm pronouncing it correctly, but until he says otherwise, or she. I'm not sure actually if there are any she's in this match. Anyway, um, back to the point. A minute and 20 left. Blue did a crazy job of holding that for a minute or two minutes and 30 seconds. They only have a minute left. Um, there goes Adidas, so it's going to be hard for them to push back in, but they do have Banny, or at least some somebody masquerading as Banny, who's doing a pretty good job right now. Um, being pressured by the spy. They need to get the spy out of here. He does go, indeed. That is River God Tuffle Snug, <laughs> which is a pretty awesome name. So blue is going to be able to push back onto mid and cap it, um, but red is not done yet. See them there looking over there um, on the left. We'll see if what kind of last uh, push they want to make right now. It seems uh, they're just waiting for this crits maybe? It is not going to be up in time. They're only at 15 seconds and Frostfire is at 70%. It actually may be up in time, but they need to get somebody on that point in order to go to overtime. Alright, so finally they do. Oh, and Frostfire goes down. Uh, zero skill, taking him down with a nice... Um, oh, what kind is that? I'm not even sure. But Red does have a uh, section on the point, so they need to stay on there in order to make this round last a little bit longer, giving them a chance. But here comes the blue crits, and although it's not doing a ton, it does take down the uh, the pyro for red. And um, without those air blasts, blue is able to cap it and or retain that uh, that cap. So there we go. It is tied a one to one. Now what rifle is Bonus using? I am not too familiar with the sniper rifles. Uh, too bad GPS isn't here, he could help me out. It actually m looks like it may be one of the new ones with that pyro update. Um, but he's doing a very good job with it. Um, fourth on the team in points. Um, Interesting, we see Penguin Ninja down at the bottom um, as heavy, and that's not something you want to see at, on uh, Highlander. You want that heavy to be usually top scoring with the medic. So maybe they're just having some commu communication problems, or maybe Penguin Ninja is just um, having trouble staying alive, which of course is hard when you're usually the target. Um, but managing to capture the point right there, so Red is ticking that time down. Fritz has popped on Penguin Ninja to um, take it down. Kozen, who was just bombing in there, but the crits is popped on the opposing, I believe. Yes, it was popped on the opposing um, heavy, so neither heavy really wanted to commit right there because they knew they would be taken down. Um, but looks like blue is, oh, Adidas gets taken down by um, Snake Kryptonite, who was just bombing in there. So that's going to buy his um, medic Crossfire, a nice little advantage. We'll see if they decide to use it, because they are uh, very low right now in uh, personnel. Oh, this engineer crow trying to get in behind, trying to get a medic pick. It was ballsy, but uh, did not quite execute. But gotta give him props for that. Um, bonus snake... Ah, Snake Kryptonite from Team Bonus, um, bombing in there, not able to get any kills with that. So Blue is going to be able to push back, or capture um, mid for the first time this round. So time is slowly ticking down. Red has a nice advantage. Oh, but Adidas goes down to River Tough to River God, and then River God also gets mm, someone else on that um, spree. So some nice work there. Um, I'll check out. Zero skill because he seems to be going on a little bit of a rampage right here. Um, see if he can't get away from the heavy spam though. Does look like he's going to be able to escape. But Valen knows he's there and has his sniper rifle trained on him as well. Getting a shot on the heavy, not able to take him down though. I'm throwing some a urine, getting some nice. Um, coverage with that. Sorry, sometimes I just get so impressed by the game I forget to talk. Um, 
which is probably not the best idea if you're casting. But anyway, um, ton of damage going, ton of spam and damage going down in the point the heavy goes down. There goes Banny, and Blue is trying to push back up. This is definitely their opportunity to do it. They have a great player advantage, and they are able to. Adidas is also has that crit, so they should be pushing with that right now. Just completely shut down Red, given this nice opportunity, because Frostfire is about 50%. I'm um, really not sure why Adidas isn't pushing right here with the crits. Um, interesting. I, okay, here we go. He is pushing. Um, <laughs> popped on the... Uh, I believe it was the Sniper and then the Pyro for a second, which is not... Which are probably the two worst classes to pop a crits on, just, uh, just saying. But it was probably a Desperation Pop, so... Mm, I won't penalize him too much for that. Um, Penguin Ninja going down to a backstab. Who is that? OW2 Evan. So we'll just call him Evan, doing some nice work there. Rocking the spicicle, making spice, um, ice sculptures in the middle of summer. Probably not going to last too long. Alright, times are about even. Um, Blue with a little bit of advantage right now, but River God taking down the sentry, taking down the medic. Let's see if he can get this um, pyro. He does, and then he gets the heavy. River God with crazy spree right there. Only two up for Blue. He so glad I caught that on uh, camera because that was some really nice spy work right there. Uh, allows his team to come back and take mid. He's also sapping that that uh, dispense, not dispenser. Wow, the teleporter. Um, dead ringing though, he'll probably be able to escape. Oh, he doesn't even want to escape. He wants more. He's bloodthirsty. That's probably what you want to see in a spy. Just continue to take advantage of these nice positionings. Um, he is behind. Oh, <laughs> the face poke and takes down Paradox. That does open him up to this pyro, but um, he did get about 5k's in there, so some nice work there from River God. That is going to open up this side though for two. Oh. Here comes the crits from Sess. Manages to get Banny, but Banny gets a uh, sticky in on there. We'll see if he can't take down anybody else. But it looks like Sess is gonna fall back, and no, he's still up there. But his medic has fallen back, and of course the crits have run out by now. So I'm not able to do a ton with that. Got team, got Tim, whatever. Red team. Um, working down the time, only about 20 seconds left. This is looking very nice for them if they can hold on. Frostfire will maybe have a crits worked up. Um, by the end, in order to, oh god, camping the telly with the, um, with the uh, equalizer is an interesting tactic, I have not seen that before, but it does the trick and Red is going to be able to hold on and take this third round, so it is going to go 2-2-1, two, two, so there we go, Spy we saw coming in second place, he's actually second on his team in, in points as well. I want to see someone's rollout. Oh, Mike, we didn't just see you miss that jump. <laughs> um, Paradox. We'll watch Paradox. He's actually going to try to get in behind, which is an excellent idea. Um, try to go for the pyro kill. He's got this bonk scout up in his face. Why is he, he? He's going for the heavy kill when the medic is right there. Probably not the best decision, but once you commit, you kind of have to, well, you know, commit. So, eventually. The uh, heavy does go down, that is Arthur for blue, and red is going to be pushing up and taking a little bit of the point right now, wanting a lot more, but there's a crit, so falling back is the red team. Um, a, that's Banny and Adidas just taking down, a, getting a couple Ks in there, so pushing forward, um, making it happen, and happen. I don't know why I said that very oddly, but anyway, Sess comes back and gets a 2k with a with a um, well-placed pipe, but he goes down and not able to stop the cap, of course, and um, Blue is going to start the time ticking down. 15 seconds already. Um, Banny Craters looks like, oh no, actually he was sniped out of midair, so some nice work right there. From Valen, I believe. So seeing some good sniping action, of course, um, with this sniper deck. Uh, Viaduct lends a lot to b sniping, also a good scout map, and as we've seen, a good demo map. So, it's a pretty good map. <laughs> um, here comes the crits. Is Sess all loaded up? No, he doesn't have... Looks like he has a few in there. He's not able to get the kills. Oh, this is so sad. Looks like um, maybe a little miscommunication right there. He could have been better prepared for that pop. Um, but his medic does get away alive. So... Not the worst crits in the world. 
Worst crits in the world? Maybe the uh, crit sniper. <laughs> but <laughs> you never know. We'll see what uh, Penguin is now doing a little bit better. But of course, you know, with 31 points, um, or 34 points, and he's tied with Hay, and I don't know, points are relative, right? You <laughs> can see the other team, Blue, is actually a um, little lower scoring. Very slightly, though. Um, having some trouble with Paradox. Paradox does go down, but then Pudding Cup it takes down Penguin Ninja from behind as well. So Blue is pushing forward, looking pretty good right now. There's only three up for Red. Um, this would be the time to go and spawn camp a little bit if they wanted to, but actually here's the Red spawns and the entire team is going to be spawning, so probably not the best idea to spawn camp there, so forget I said it. Uh, they're not listening to me anyway, so... Paradox, again, trying to go for these flanks, and um, that's what Viaduct lends itself so well to being a scout for, just having those flank opportunities and that speed to get out of there like we just saw Paradox do. Uh, see if he can't get the spy, and does uh, River God does go down. He is dead ringing, though. No, he's not. I was looking at the wrong spy. Um, Blue Spy is still alive. So, Adidas actually going down, Seth's getting some nice stickies in there, so that is gonna buy Frostfire a nice advantage and nice time right now. He's at 100% crits right now, so we'll see if he decides to do something special with it. Um, holding on to it right now, they need to push. Well, they don't absolutely need to, but I mean, if they want to win, they need to. Um, and popped on the heavy not doing a ton because there's just nobody around to kill. Um, Frostfire manages to find his demo, doing a little bit of um, spam right there, but not actually getting anyone. But you know, it was successful to uh, allow the red team to push forward and take mid and take the points. And time is ticking down, about a minute 30 left for them. See if they can hold it. They need to set up some sort of excellent defense, <laughs> which of course is always a story. But uh, Frostfire looking kind of aggressive right here with his heavy push up pretty far. But now with his taking his soldier and demo in, um, I'm not sure if he's just trying to heal them, overheal them right now, or if he actually wants to be aggressive and push with them once he get this, gets this crit. Uh, but he just took a body shot from the sniper, so he needs to fall back and get some health. Um, needs a sandwich. There we go. Getting a sandwich from his BFF. Oh, but he goes down. Zero skill gets a nice headshot, mm, forcing him to drop that Uber. So not what the red team wanted. And Blue is just going to come back with the entire team. They have a great player, player advantage right here. And going to cap mid very handily. So they just need to defend for a minute 15 about. And that's going to be a pretty tall task because we have seen how it... Um, how both teams are very capable of coming back from large times to uh, to come back and cap and work that, that timer down, that stopwatch down. Uh, Arthur now doing some nice work, taking down Cess, which is going to be nice. He's been a bit of a pest with uh, those demo stickies. Oh, but Arthur going down to a backstab. He just managed to get um, Valen, no, he just managed to get uh, the other heavy. Um, Penguin Ninja, and then goes down to a back step, so not what he wanted right there. Pudding Cup doing some nice spa, uh, spy checking, but he is still alive, so he's got to watch out for that. He is really rocking that uh, shotgun. Interesting, he's not using the flare or the anything like that. So I would be interested in talking to him about why he chose, chooses the shotgun. Personally, I love the shotgun too. Maybe because I have a strange shotgun, and then you can use it for your NG, your soldier, and your uh, your pyro, obviously. Um, Uber pyro, nice, nice. Bringing out the uh, the extinguisher, able to push that that uh, crits back, and so they weren't it take didn't take too much damage. But here comes Red pushing in very strong. The entire team is there, whereas uh, Blue only has three people up, and they're getting those respawns now. But Reyes has to um, work down that clock for a significant amount of time. Again, they have four or 30 seconds about left. And we'll see if Blue can't come back and defend. Oh, a nice little stab there by River God. I'm glad we're getting some of spy action um, on cam, because usually I don't give them enough love. Kozen doing some nice range there to take down Hay. Um, coming in, trying to get the the medic kill but not able to um that crits is popped on the demo and wow banny took down frostfire with the um the oh the protest sign and um 
just a, so much happening in the last few seconds. Uh, heavy on the point, uh, double overtime right now. We'll see who can cap it next. Uh, if Red can defend it and push the time all the way back, they win. But if not, uh, they will lose. Blue is pushing up. There's nobody on Red to come and save this, and that is going to be a win for the Blue team. So it takes it to 2-2. Two to two. Again, we are playing to first to four, so... Buckle in, ladies and gentlemen, we are just beginning. Watch Snake Kryptonites roll out right here. Um, doing a pretty good job getting to mid. Needs to lay down some spammers. Oh, wow, he just went flying back. I'm um, not exactly sure what the uh, rationale for that was, but anyway. I don't question soldiers who can rocket jump, because I can't. Well, I mean, I can, but just not good. Anyway, Adidas hiding behind this rock. He is on the regular medigun, which worked well for them um, last time because they were able to pop that uber on the pyro who was able to air blast that crits away. So we'll see if it works for them this time. Uh, looks like Frostfire is running the crits because he already has his charge all the way up and of course crits charges faster than a regular medigun. And he does pop it on his heavy. Heavy is trying to get some damage down right here. Actually does get Adidas. Adidas was not able to pop that uber in time. So he goes down. Um, crits right there for the win. Or for the temporary win at least. Uh, Frostfire actually does go down there from Kozin in a rocket. So um, it was a good push and it accomplished what they needed to accomplish, but um, Frostfire did not, was not able to survive. So maybe a little too aggressive right there. I don't know. Or maybe they just need some better anti-aircraft um, protection from jumping soldiers. We'll watch the River God. He's got two health right, left right now. We'll see if he can't make something miraculous happen. Um, which we saw a little bit of before, so would not be that surprised. I hope he just doesn't die from fall damage. No, nope, he's alright. Um, gonna fall back and, or gonna get to the point and get some health from his team. Oh, and here comes, uh, Banny with some huge stickies in there. And uh, didn't even need the crits, but just took out the entire little setup on the point right there. So red is pushed back and uh, pretty devastated about that right there because they did have a nice little dispenser and NG setup. Um, Adidas right now, I am not liking the how he just sits still and hides behind rocks because that makes him so 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 vulnerable to spy picks. Um, but I'm, he's actually had some success. I don't think he's been threatened too much by spy. Oh, speaking of threatened by spy, here comes River God. Um, and actually, yeah. Oh my god. And then Adidas goes down to a headshot from Valen. So, should have propped the crits. Uh, of course, that's always the story though, right? Sess is coming back super hurt right now, but he manages to join his team as they take mid. Um, times are about even, so we'll see who can hold on to the point for longer. Sess getting um Oh, getting that crits taken down Adidas with some nice stickies right there. Frostfire does go down to Banny stickies, but uh, Sess is still alive. Doing a little spawn camping right here. He has to watch out for this heavy. Um, what is... Okay, going for a little sticky trap, but not able to do it. Called out, and there goes his little camping trip. Um, ended a little early due to rain. Anyway... Time is ticking down. Um, Crow, kind of mad about that, uh, the teleporter going down, but he will survive. It is the um, <clears throat> sad truth of engineers on King of the Hill to beat bottom scoring, and um, it's pretty much true in this case, but not their fault. They are just slow and not a lot of health, and that's about it. It'll be interesting to see if they decide to go for a level 3 or try to mix it up a little bit, but so far, rocking, both are rocking the Gunslinger, which is probably the best idea at this point. Blue manages to come back and cap it. They have a minute 45 left, though, to work down the clock. We'll see if they can do it. Banny is putting down some interesting stickies. I think he must have thought there was a spy around. There is a spy around. That is River God. We'll see if he can't get something going. He has spotted the medic, but actually the push forward quite a bit, so he's going to have to be content with uh, blowing up. <laughs> so, <laughs> not what he had in mind, but it did happen nonetheless. Here comes Banny with the crits, taking down the heavy. Let's see if he can't get anything else right now. There's a pyro in his face, pressuring his medic, um, really wants to get him, and there you go, he does take down... Um, 
Oh man, this is the first time I've seen- whoa, wait a second. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, the pyro for blue team is mm, Sigis, I think, from BPM, which is Baby Punching Marathon, another great Highlander team in UGC. Uh, I should probably know his name, but I don't, so Sigis, I think is what I'm going to call him. Anyway, Red coming back with that cap and with a crits on the heavy, taking down the heavy, taking down the mid on blue, and looking very dominant right now. If they can manage to hold on to mid for 30 more seconds, they could take this round and go up 3-2. to two. Mm, And I think there'll be a halftime at that point. Well, actually, no, because this is a pug. They may not take halftimes. Anyway... The Heavy going down, uh, Penguin Ninja going down for red, so he's not able to stand on the point and be that big health absorber um, or damage absorber with all that health. And it looks like Blue is going to be able to push in, taking advantage of that. Here's the spy on the point, though. He gets called out, and oh, we're not quite into overtime. Almost, though. Three seconds left for red. They need to cap it, but having a hard time staying alive. Only four. Up. Uh, they just got some respawns right there, and Blue's pushing forward quite a bit. Adidas has this crits right now. We'll see what they want to do with it. He's poking his head out there. He really shouldn't be doing that. Um, they're waiting for those respawns to come in and then to pop that crits and just dominate them from behind in a surprise position. But um, I'm really scared about Adidas right now. I feel like he's going to get sniped or backstabbed or something. Or maybe just attacked by Pyro, because that is what's happening, maybe? No, um, he still is holding on to this crits. Blue only has 10 seconds left, and they're going to be able to hold on to the point, uh, maybe? Um, this crits is way out of position. They need to be on the point where Red is making a huge comeback. Remember, Red only has 3 seconds left, so Blue does not have a lot of time to do this. The uh, Blue Heavy going down, Blue Medic is down, Red is going to pull out that victory. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Blue is able to work it down all the way to into an overtime. Um, uh, so very impressive, um, but Red does manage to come out and take that victory. So it is three to two. Remember, we're going best to f uh, first to four. So watch out, Blue. And those are the scores. If anyone is so inclined to care, it looks like um, Pingo Ninja has stepping up his heavy game, doing some nice work right there and support action or not support, but offensive. Frontline action, I guess, is what you would call it, what heavies do. I'm watching Sess do some stuff. Um, watching Seth, Seth do some stuff. Yes, that's what I just said. That is um, XTV coverage right there. Just some really insightful stuff. Can't find it anywhere else. Oh, Frostfire going down. Banny getting in there. And again, doesn't even need the crits just to do a ton, a ton of damage. Taking down Frostfire, stopping their push. Um, absolutely. Only two up right now for red, and blue is looking super, super good right now as they push on to mid, uh, manage to cap it, and um, have this nice little dispenser set up. And um, who is that? That is Crow with a nice little uh, white gibbous. Where is the sentry gun though? I. Oh, okay, it's over here. He's protecting this. Um, this mm, choke area. Sorry. That is the word, but it does go down. Sess puts down some nice stickies, and Red is making a nice push for it right here. Um, Blue is deciding to fall back and let them take it. Interesting choice right there. Uh, Adidas does have crits, so that's probably why they're doing it, but if they wait too long for those crits, uh, Frostfire is going to have crits of his own, and indeed he does. He actually may not survive this. Oh, 11 health left, and Frostfire actually manages to get away. Adidas didn't even pop the crits right there, so we're going to have a crits on crits battle eventually. Um, Penguin Ninja rocking the Fist of Steel. Oh, but goes down to a headshot. Zero skill getting a nice shot right there. And um, Sigurs is. Mm, walks right into the crits. Sorry about that. Um, but Frostfire still has that uh, crits advantage, or that crits, and now it's an advantage because the other team um, just popped theirs. So we'll see what they decide to do with it. Probably going to rock in and take this team by storm. Um, indeed, it is what they're looking what they're doing, but they need to get this little setup behind the rock. Um, 
Okay, finally the crits has popped. They did all that without even having the crits. And he actually, Frostfire lost connection with his demo right there, so not a great execution. Probably should have popped it a little bit sooner and um, tried to get that this NG spot. Wait, it was on this side. Nope, it was definitely on this side. Okay, so they did get the NG spot. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, what is going on? Kozen trying to bomb in there and gets Frostfire with a nice um, bombing attempt, or nice soldier jump, I guess, and then also getting the dispenser, so uh, doesn't matter, got the dispenser. <laughs> also, you know the medic, which is kind of important too. But doing a nice job, um, a nice soldier job right there, um, but looking... Like, Red is doing pretty good work right here. Um, zero skill, getting another nice headshot on Penguin Ninja. So, that allows his team to push in there. About two minutes left for Blue, though, right now. They're going to have to hold on to the point for quite a while. Setting up this little uh, NG setup again is Crow. I think it's time to run the regular wrench. You know, pull out the... Um, the jag or something. Get a level 3 up, wrangle that, and see how that goes. Although I haven't seen any wrangling, so I'm wondering if that's not allowed in uh, Pugs. Because otherwise this is a great wrangling map. Um, hey, getting some nice shots and taking down Evan, the spy. Managing to help his team um, cap mid right there, and so he's going to set a very forward position, and that is actually one of my favorite spots for a mini sentry on Viaduct. Um, so, love it. Love it very much, hey. <laughs> and this team is looking pretty, um, falling back right now. And, um, oh, the sentry gun does go down. Crow manages to take it down with the shotgun. But yeah, Red is not pushing forward as much as I would like to see. So much of Koth is, once you take the point, you just continue to push. Um, here comes some huge crit stickies from Sess, and getting like two or three kills in that, and taking down Adidas, and looking very good right now for Red. Blue's going to have a hard time pushing in. They're not going to have any sort of uber or crits or anything to push in to mid from. Going to try to get some jumps in there is the soldier. But they need to get on the point right now. Six seconds left. Blue needs to get on the point. What? Why did the spy run by the point? That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, Bandy gets in there at the last second. Manages to uh, cause it into overtime. The heavy needs to stay on the point. He does not. He goes down to his stab from River God. Um, Red is coming back. They need to work back this time. Blue has a ton of presence on that point. Um, but that carrot... That triangle is slowly working itself down, and if blue can't get in here and make something else happen, it's going to go to red, and that is going to be game. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Gatim uh, takes the match. Uh, again, this is a pickup game, and if you guys are interested in Highlander Pickup, I'll put the link in the uh, information for this video. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, thanks for not watching, that's pretty much it. Um, send in your STV demos to Falafel1066. Follow me on Twitter if you're so inclined and all that fun stuff. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.